Hello, this is Myra Eileen from the Buying Space Channel. Today I have a package from Lisa Raven. Uh, she sent the package uh, with stickers on it. It says, thank you. I hope you will be very happy with this cute little smiley face on it. Just so happy with the little happy face. Lisa has online auctions on YouTube. Her and her husband have a small business as resellers. And they have a family. There we go. And I went to her auction and thought, okay, I'm just going to hang out and have fun. And I just couldn't do it. There were several things. So I don't want to put that over there. I want to put it over here uh, with the things to be recycled. There were a couple other things that I did on that night but didn't get. But I was so happy. Thank you for supporting my small business. Myra, I hope you love this purse. Love seeing you in the chats. Lisa, she always says, you don't have to come buy anything, but I always do. I, I mean, it, I don't, there might have been one time I didn't buy something. It's it's hard not to. And her partner in crowd is Beverly Piosno. And they their show is called Over the Cliff. Let's keep going. And there's Beverly's YouTube channel. And Lisa's YouTube channel. And she put in, oh, she put in some more sunflower stickers. I love these stickers. Oh my goodness, that looked like a barracuda booty for a minute there. <laughs> and here's a, a sunflower sticker that says love. <laughs> What's gotten into me today? Anyway, let's look at this beautiful purse. Now, there's my name and the price I paid. So, that's going to come off. This is just absolutely gorgeous. It's over the shoulder purse. And this is embroidered. Look at this beautiful rose on here. This blue flower. Oh my gosh. Look at the detail in this work. This is absolutely stunning. And this is this purse is about the right size for just uh, you know your cell phone and uh, your wallet, your keys, you know, just the basics. And look at that on the bottom. Isn't that simply gorgeous? And there's more. Here is a matching clutch. And, um, you know, this is looks simple. And it is kind of simple. But I tell you, anymore people have everything on their phone. So you just need something for cash. And since this is a zippered pouch, you could put change in that. Or anything else. There's not really a place for cards because um, besides your driver's license, a lot of places, you know, a lot of people aren't easy using plastic anymore. And if they do, it's just a few pieces. I haven't seen a big old clutch with, you know, 20 credit cards in it for a long, long time. So this is perfect. And look at this. Look at the detail on this. I believe that's a hummingbird. It's just, I don't know. But look how much time and attention had to go into this design. Each one of those little stitches. I am just so happy with this. I could not pass it up. I, you know, and I don't even know if I'll use it. I just, 
it was just something of so much beauty and talent that went into it. Lisa, thank you so much for bringing this to auction. And, uh, you know, I just could not pass up all this talent. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I would be bowled over if somebody gave me something like this. But I don't even know if I want to use it myself because it's so pretty. I put my purses through so much, even though I do need a new purse right now. But, you know, it's my big chunker purse, you know, that uh, is tearing. I've had a uh, hard time with purses this year uh, in just the six months of this year. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. I've kind of gotten in the mood lately that my ordinary stuff that you use every day is going to be no donated. And the stuff that's up in the closet... You know, the stuff that, like, Grandma's quilt was handmade. You know, that was worth a fortune. And worth it's invaluable to you as a person because your grandmother made it. And she's been gone for a while. That blanket. That, I think that's the blanket I'm going to use. And I think I'm going to use this purse. And I'm going to use my nice stuff. Because you only live once. You never know what tomorrow holds. It's all in God's plan, but I'm tired of putting the good stuff up in the closet. Uh, there was one other time in my life that we used the good stuff. We brought out the china. We brought out the homemade blankets. We bought it, brought out everything out of the closet. We were saving for some rainy day, and we used it. And that was when I separated from my husband, and I left him the ordinary stuff, and we used the good china to eat, eat off of and people were astounded how we were living with me just separated <laughs> because I had saved all that stuff for a rainy day and I'm just getting weaker and weaker by the day we all do we all age and uh, so it's time to get out the good stuff so you all think about that today what are you holding back What's in your closet you could bring out and use and it'd be beautiful in your life. Don't hold back anything anymore. God wants you to be happy. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day.